Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been a little while since my last video. Uh, things have been pretty crazy lately. But in any case, I wanted to get back on the channel and make this video and today's video showing you guys how to assemble your cover. So first things first, make sure you have all the components. So um, this right here, um, you know, basically uh, just the headband. You got this like wireframe looking thing here. You have the actual like vinyl cover itself, <clears throat> the band, and lastly, the EGA will go in the front. So first things first, take the, um, like I said, the headband uh, wireframe looking thing. You're gonna take this wireframe, reach inside of the headband and pull the wireframe through, okay? So it can be kind of tough sometimes. Um, don't worry, you're not gonna break it, but pull that through so that it's through like this. You can see that, but it's through the headband, okay? From here, I'm gonna move this up out of the way. From here, go ahead and just face the bill towards you. I'm going to take a look at the vinyl cover here. And you're going to find there's a crown hole, all right? So this crown hole here, right? It's where there's a hole and a seam. I hope you guys can see that. But there's a seam and a hole, all right? If you look around the cover, you'll see there are like these two holes, one seam, but the hole is not, or the, sorry, the two holes are not on the seam. Same thing on the other side, you'll see a seam and two holes, all right? That's not the front. The front is where the hole and the seam are together, okay? So that means that the front, you know, if the if the bill is facing you, so in my case, the bill is facing me, um, the front, the crown hole here is gonna go on like that, all right? So <clears throat> we'll, uh, actually, no, sorry. So what we're gonna do from here, we'll take this, all right? Go ahead and place this down you're gonna let this sit basically into the uh, into the vinyl cover. So this is probably the, mm, I'd say the most tricky part. Um, basically, you just have to work the uh, the thing, the, uh, the headband into the cover, all right? So make sure too that the ground that you're working with, I mean, this is on a placemat, but make sure the ground you work with is not dirty. This is a white cover, it can get dirty really quick, all right? So go ahead and place this in and you can push the headband, kind of compress it a little bit. Um, to really to get this worked in with the cover. Um, it is a little tricky. Oh, actually, missed step, but don't forget to take these side caps out or else you will not be able to access the holes, put those through. Just a little minor thing there, but <clears throat> um, take those out. These screws, so we'll take those out. You see that there? <clears throat> so, Again, like I said, you're really just working the headband in here. Um, again, it's a little tricky. Um, you know, it may take a little bit of time to kind of master this to get to get good at it. I mean, obviously, once you construct it, you should only have to construct it one time. You should probably be uh, disassembling your cover every time you use it. I don't know why you would, but um, you know, it, it takes some takes some working uh, to really to push this thing through. Okay, once you spend an ample amount of time working on that, uh, eventually you will get it. So you have it on, you wanna make sure that <clears throat> these side screw porthole areas are in the holes on either side. There's also uh, within the cover, you know, with the, uh, the crown hole, which is where the EGA will go. Um, you wanna make sure that the holes inside the cover um, as well on that like wireframe headband thing are lined up. So keep that in mind. Now you still have, you know, we still have this excess piece hanging out. So all we're gonna do is take that, we'll push that in. Again, don't be afraid that it's gonna bust or anything. Um, <clears throat> they're pretty sturdy, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Push that in, make sure it extends all the way. Make sure that it lines up with the cover and looks like it's supposed to. So it basically should ride along the seam, um, which you'll see. Push this out just a little bit. Um, but yeah, so it should, again, like I said, should ride along a seam here. You can see <clears throat> yeah, this, this, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but the metal band lines up with the seam there. Now from there, what we can do, next thing, place the band on. So <clears throat> just for your situational awareness, in order to extend this, 
you pull not the front part of the band, but the back part of the band, pull that like that, it extends, gets longer. Now, if you take the front part of the band, so you see there's two bands there, if you take the, um, the I guess like I said, I'll call it the front part, pull those and it tightens, all right? <clears throat> so in my case, I have a big head, which means the band has to be pretty long for me, unfortunately. So what I'd recommend doing, just one side at a time, right? We'll put that over here and just screw these right in. Gotta work those just right where they screw in. Right, that's one. And now, same thing, other side. Making sure that the holes line up. And you'll see right now, you can see the band's pretty loose. Don't worry, not an issue, because what we will do here, after we tighten this on, simply take that front band, pull it down nice and tight so it looks sharp on the cover, all right? So we want to make sure that that looks good. Um, you know, make sure it looks like we deserve the title that we are commissioning for, or in that case, the uh, service branch that we are representing. Now, once that's on, you have your gold band there. Lastly, we'd be putting on the, uh, the EGA, uh, attaching that to the front. <clears throat> so it's just a simple screw on piece here. So my hands in the way. You got this, you got this piece here. <clears throat> Put that through the crown hole and it should come out the back end if you've lined it up properly it should come out the back Let's see. Push it in a little bit bam there we go <clears throat> and we'll just screw that on Once that's screwed in all the way, the cover is complete. Now, make sure you're very careful with these covers. Um, you know, take good care of them. Make sure you're not seeing any, you know, wrinkle like wrinkling um, along the edges and stuff. I mean, this is a clean cover and it should look clean accordingly, right? So obviously, it's it's white, right? It's it's white vinyl. Like I said before, it can get dirty really quickly. The brim can get dirty pretty quick. Um, you know, when you're representing the Marine Corps, you wanna be looking sharp at all times. So, you know, whether you're an officer who's about to commission, which is you know, my case, or you're already an officer, or even an enlisted member for that matter, whatever the case may be, ensure you're taking care of your uniform items because you know, the Marine Corps prides itself on proper, you know, etiquette, but mostly proper uniform etiquette and, you know, looking sharp, uh, being the sharpest looking branch, I think, um, out of all, the service branches so again you know make sure you're taking care of your uniform items but that is how you assemble your cover